Okay, so I'm just going to bring this. What if quantum communication is being used to terraform this planet in this material dimension using the technology of consciousness uh, to control these material bodies? What if the intelligence that is doing this terraforming process exists in the dimension outside space-time? If so, why are they doing this terraforming? How are we of use to them in their, in, in their dimension? Are we of use to them in that, well, what is the relationship between us and them? There is a good discussion about the concept of an interconnected system in this video. Yeah. I'm still watching it. Uh, I haven't finished it. So for the... Yeah, what's... Anyway, it starts around the 14 minute mark, I think. What if there is an intelligence out there non-human intelligence that is creating this universe and all the stars and planets and is doing this on purpose we can call this being God what if this being uses other intelligences to create the universe which we can call angels and demons so it's like levels of uh, creation so you have humans in this dimension you can have angels and demons in another dimension and then beyond that there could be it's like a levels of uh, creation you know there's an ultimate creator and there are lower down you know and then in, you know it's, it's like that you know it's all interconnected you got you know the concept of an interconnected system is, is explored in the linked video. I, yeah, I think I mentioned it. I think the Bible is true. Well, maybe I should write this. Maybe true. Oh. It may be a true account of the creation of this universe, but with some changes in detail. Maybe. Here is a video from an Area 51 caller who talks about like how the aliens the government found were extra dimensional entities. I think this was real. And then there was also like a cover up in the video where like the first caller when he calls, the call gets the connection gets disconnected and then apparently we will either someone else calls and I think the second caller is covering up if the first call if they are planning for a mass die-off of humanity so the eighth version of humanity can be introduced to earth the interdimensional intelligence has no use for us we serve the purpose of terraforming this planet according to its needs, and now it's time to replace us with another kind of humanity that can advance its agenda on Earth. The non-human intelligence we are talking about is thinking and acting in a, in a cosmic s scale. To put it another way, God wants us dead so he can continue to shape the earth according to his needs. 
Oh, his plan. His plan. God created us, the plants and animals on this planet, to terraform it according to his needs and purposes. God created us and he can destroy us. We are, we are a part of a system and it's time for us to die off so another version of us can take our place and the earth can grow and evolve to a different state. This is our destiny and this is the secret they are keeping hidden from us. I think this happens on other planets as well with other species. Interdimensional entities terraforming their various stars, planets, galaxies and universes according to their purposes. We are tools designed by this intertime designed by this intelligent being or beings I think this is the truth I think the, the mass extinction events that have happened you know when the dinosaurs were wiped out I think if you look at the movie the day the earth stood still I think that's what happened um, the extinction was carried out because in order for the earth to evolve the the life form that was around 65 million years ago had to be extincted and 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 in and uh, so it, so different life forms can take their place and continue the process of the evolution of this planet uh So think about it in that way. We are not dealing with aliens from, we might not s simply be dealing with aliens from another star. We might be dealing with inter interdimensional entities that are working on a cosmic level, you know. But, but we're all interconnected, you know, other aliens from other stars. They're all working together to promote <laughs> this evolution of this universe. So, yeah, I think uh, the seventh version of humanity, modern humanity, is going to die off. And I think the deep state, Cabal, knows this. And they're trying to uh, bring about this process of extinction and evolution. Though I will say, I think some of these people uh, might be misguided. They might be. They might think that oh, if we promote the extinction of humanity, the uh, interdimensional entity might spare our lives or something. <laughs> I don't know if they're thinking in that way. Uh, maybe you know, give us preferential treatment or something. I don't know. This is dark. This is a doom kind of scenario, but I think this is what's happening. We are going... Look, there was this document, this apparently the CIA document. I, was, I read it, it was like... You know, it says... Uh, apparently... Uh, yeah, let me see... Uh, Oh, let me quote. Uh, okay, this is apparently um, uh, they call it the EME extra dimensional material entity like they materialize into this universe and if you if you see some of the craft they if you look at it if you if you they sort of mimic the craft of other actual craft sort of like an ai type of thing okay here we go um 
I'll let you, this is I'm quoting from this document which is from the Majestic 12, apparently this is written by someone from the CIA or some, some government entity. Um, that's very important. Um, I'll let you in on one secret that MJ-12 found early on. The Earth's environment has undergone significant changes and we are and, and we are part of the environment, meaning humanity is part of the environment of Earth, like a system. The redacted portion of the library book found in Mexi New Mexico predicts a worldwide invasion of EMEs, extra dimensional material entities. I think these are the Elohim, the people who create, you know, the angels. Think of this as the angels from God. In the year 20, in the year 2030, according to the lunar calendar, which commences sometime after 1999, the CIA has undertaken a survey project called environment through a joint CIA civilian project called Medea to look at what damage has been caused by EME controlled UFO activity especially around nuclear power plants and industrial waste pollution production. From what I know the earth's population is being contaminated and our DNA is being altered through pollution of our air, food supply and water. The digital Trojan horse is going to wreak havoc soon and we have the EMEs to blame. Not really, the armies are responsible for that one. To reduce it in a few words, here's it. We are cattle, here's it. We are cattle and subject to slaughter by EMEs, the angels, the angels of God. You can think of it that way. The aliens are the angels of God. That is the game plan. The insiders know this, are not taking advantage of the situation. Our only hope may come from extraterrestrial intervention. The world leaders see no viable solution except population control through biological warfare and regional conflicts. Think about the cure introduced in 2020. Think about the war in Ukraine and Russia and the Middle East. Population control. This is the response of the deep state <laughs> to this problem. If UFOs uh, trigger a nuclear exchange, all right, um, Uh, in order to justify this kind of population control, you know, because they believe this is going to happen the, when, the, when the angels of God come back, they're going to destroy humanity anyway because we need to evolve. Uh, they need to replace us with a different kind of humanity that can continue terraforming Earth, you know, because I think humans right now are kind of violent. But anyway... We don't have psychic ability, maybe. They may invent a crisis from outer space. They may try to convince the world that extraterrestrials may invade our planet and eliminate, and eliminate the human race, and therefore they, tr they need to deploy their space defenses and kill a number of people in the process. Look at that. They, so they're going to try and use a fake alien invention, invasion to deploy satellite dues and they're going to use the dues like they test it out in Lahaina and kill a number of people in the process. Already there are events taking place all over the US and in other countries that are UFO related that bear this out. We are being inoculated for possible biological warfare and at the same time being conditioned program for extraterrestrial contact. This was and still is the agenda of secret government preparations. 
They know it is coming, but don't know when and how. Okay, so this document, um, I think it was released in 1999, was it? 1999, July 7th, 1999. Predicting a lot of what's happening right now. The cure, the wars. That's what's going to happen. The angel of, the angels of God are going to come back and they're going to destroy humanity. And the angels of God are working for the interdimensional being, or you can think of that as God. God's going to destroy humanity, so as has happened in the past, according to the Lysida files, so the evolution of the earth can proceed. We humans on earth right, right now are going to be replaced by a different version of humanity that will allow the evolution of earth to continue. The evolution of earth is where uh, is a is done by animals, plants. It's like a process. You create the plants, you create the animals, you create humans, and you create different versions of humans. You create dinosaurs, or whatever. It's to evolve the earth. Now I don't like this. Um, obviously, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, you know, there's nothing, there may be nothing we can do to stop this. And, and the reason the government doesn't want to tell this is because they don't want to cause mass panic. But when it does happen, it will be too late, too little too late, and... You know, around 2030, apparently, you know, six more years. And then, you know, that could be the end of humanity. It could be. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is what's, this is what's going on. Yeah. Very sobering kind of thought.